Mark Penn's New Age Palace. <laughs> Thought it'd be fun to see if you wanted to come over here and check this out. My sketchbook. I first came up with the idea sitting on the beach one day. Mm -hmm. I drew this little sketch and um, wrote the words Cape Invasion. And it just kind of stuck. And, uh, you know, these little sketches here. This is Nobsco Lighthouse. You know, stuff like that, just so I could start to get the idea. These were done on the beach, huh? While you were yeah, just sitting on the vacation beach. Vacationing. Summer day in July, last July. Just the one of the lifeguard. I toyed around with the ideas of uh, idea of having like an alien or something in there, but ultimately decided I was not going to do that. I just wanted to leave it up to the imagination of the viewer. dimensions are going to be. As you can see, I've got a very organized system. You know, this project is its called Cape Invasion and it's pretty much about summertime on Cape Cod and I had hoped to have it done, the project done in time for the summer. I've been working on it since last July 2005, so uh, nearing the finish, this is the last town that I want to make. And then I'm going to do some smaller spot illustrations. So are all these individual people on people you know or people you just like snapped on one sly or what? No, the, all these people were... Um, I stole from, uh, <laughs> I went on uh, Google and just... <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. I just, I, just hit, <laughs> I hit, uh, did a search for shoppers. <laughs> oh, God. And, um, and, uh, a random search for, um, you know, people staring at the sky and, uh, found some stuff like that. This one here, this woman here, uh, I took the body of one woman and the head of another and merge them together so that she'd be looking up toward the sky instead of the time she was sort of looking down. So Photoshop's awfully fun for, for piecing together things like that. Hmm. Yeah, and I'll just alter it as I see fit. You know, I might decide to change the hairstyle of one person or the clothing or whatever just to make it my own. But to have that reference that, you know, photorealistic reference is kind of important to me. Mm -hmm. So to, you know, I mean, I could draw people out of my head, but it doesn't, it doesn't quite necessarily match up with the photorealistic buildings and things. Exactly, yeah. So. Where'd you get the UFOs? <laughs> well, those are real, of course. Yeah, you know, they were part of the scene. Did you say cookie break? Oh, yeah. It's a very important part of the artistic creation process. Trader Joe's chocolate chip oatmeal. Okay, so now we have the line drawing. Turn over the tracing paper and do my carbon paper effect. <laughs> Close up of the UFO. Looks like a John Virtue painting. So, just retracing my steps here. Pressing down pretty hard to make the transfer work. Almost there. And there it is. Then what I do <laughs> is I go over it again, not in maybe in its entirety, but I some of the spots that are kind of light, I'll just retrace. 
tighten them up a little bit so that I know exactly what I'm painting. Really exciting. So pretty much just try to look for one color that's going to be underneath everything, and usually that's depends on what the scene is and what the time of day is in the scene and everything. But this is going to be like you know blue sky kind of day, so It'll pretty much be blue under everything. So I try to bring up like I ask myself when I look at this where where the uh, Darkest areas, darkest darks. So I just try to push those in as much as possible with the watercolor. I still see my pencil underneath, which is good, which is helpful. This beautiful gal here, here might have a white shirt on instead of a black one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Today's Wednesday. I'm gonna say by next Wednesday it'll be done. Really? One week. Right. I'm gonna shoot for one week. I work on it every day for four hours a day. Maybe it could be anywhere from two hours to ten hours per per day. Really? Ten solid hours. That's right, especially at the end. getting there. Always when I approach the end, that's when I, that's when it becomes like a battle because all the things that don't seem to be working, I have to, I, ha I always have to fight on the sky because I'm using acrylic in the sky and it's like trying to use it's like sort of fading effects and the paint dries too fast and it's sort of tricky for me. And then, um, I find that I always have to change the colors of things to create the appropriate balance and make sure that your eye isn't too distracted by too many things. There's a lot going on in this particular picture, so I have to make sure that it's cohesive. And... How we doing? How's it looking? Mm. See, now I don't like that black line. where things get a little frustrating. <laughs> so we should get rid of that black line. Hey. Hey. Duck in the bash She's looking hot now. It's like having uh, Pamela Anderson. My Cape Invasion project. Uh -huh. It's jumping a little, huh? Made a huge difference. Be careful, I don't want to go overboard now. <laughs> yes. I don't know what I did, but it did something. So, what do you think, another day? Probably. Who knows, maybe even later today. Only uh, 12.30, but I work on this for the rest of the day today, uh, it might happen, it might be finished. Launch it on the website, and then it's on to the next.